Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Elegant Life. Ooh, today is the day, today is the day when I am opening up the journal. It gifted me the abilities that I have now, the perspective that I have now, the inner peace and fulfillment and abundance that I have now. And I want you to see what happened that made that happen. If you're new and you're just coming onto this video, I have been doing a series over the last few weeks of opening up my journals and really showing women how I went from a woman who had nothing but drama and lack and desperation and wanting and needing and demanding and everything to where I am now. A life where things flow, where I flow, where I choose to flow, where I have abundance, where I have fulfillment, where I have purpose, and I have peace. And this is where this all came from. This series, the reason I'm doing it is because you saw the rock bottom and the awakening that's going to happen right now and why my life is the way it is now. It's not an accident, ladies. It's not an accident. The elegant life is a spiritual lifestyle. It is things you do. It is the perspectives you have. It's the way you think. It's the understandings you have. And then you embodying them and living them. That creates what I call your elegant life. It's very different than mine because you're programmed different than me to love and receive joy from different things than me. But my job is to help you discover what yours is and help you get there. And I bring you in to the moment of my journal when I went with my husband after awakening, getting support from the counselor. Dear Diary... Today, I am in Turkey with Ilker, but not for vacation. Well, sort of. <laughs> we are in a retreat. I've always dreamed of doing a week spiritual retreat, but I never knew when, what, or how it was going to happen. Here I am. We just had our first evening, and it was powerful. I had very shallow breathing at the beginning. I couldn't keep my mouth open wide enough, and then they helped me putting something in my mouth, and it helped. Sometimes the music stirred things in me. Sometimes the words on the CD, mainly the ones about connecting with God, the universe. Let the connection grow, feel it. I also was affected by the sounds of others, fast breathing, intense breathing, etc. But then Cher Min came to touch me. And as soon as she put that thing over my eyes to shield all of the light, I lost it. I began crying. And then, it's hard to keep breathing, I let out a couple of sobs and then after she sat me up and sat behind me saying, you're safe. I was able to calm my breathing down and she laid me down again and I felt energy like I've never felt before. A tingling all over, particularly in my arms and my hands. At one point, I felt like I was going to rise out of my body. So that was day one. Gosh, I believe I will be a changed individual after this. The leader said, be your authentic self. Let it come out fully. These words resonated so much with me. This is what's been on my mind regarding my new business interest. Oh goodness, this experience will be so powerful for me before I go meet with my business coach. As always, God, you have perfect timing. Let's see what day two brings. Day two. It's 2 p.m. and we've just finished our second breathwork session. Two things stand out for me. One is that I felt a tremendous amount of energy about a hand distance above my wrists. Next is that whenever the facilitators touch my stomach, it is so tender all over. And when they say the words, I am the divine. I allow myself to be my divine self. It's okay to be my spirit self. I cry. I so know that this trip is about me accepting my divine self and then allowing it to lead me in the rest of my life and what I do. The trainer watched us breathe individually and then gave us an analysis and he said that I actually have a really nice flow from my tummy all the way up. But he said there's a throbbing 
right in the middle of my stomach that represents the spiritual me trying to get out. Something or someone has stopped me from letting it out. He lastly said, you dim yourself. Totally in line what I have been feeling. No more dimming. Mm -mm. No more allowing others to dim me and my message. I am owning my divinity and how connected I am and I'm going forth to help and serve others. Period. Day three. I don't know where to start. Today is different. I'm numb right now. Today, the leader did an activity with me and in this I learned that I view God as an external thing. Even though I see it inside of me, it's still external to me because of my Catholic upbringing. I also learned that I bring situations into my life where people judge me because my ego likes being a victim. It feeds off the emotions and feelings I get once I've been judged. I'm addicted to the drama. Oh my God, what made me this way? What caused me to feel drama was the way to experience life. I've been like this since I was a kid. The leader also said that my desire to help people is noble, but I need people to need me so I feel good about myself. I need to help people to feel good about myself. Also, I don't know who Aaron is. That's where the seeing God as external from me comes in. Oh my God, I know nothing. I thought I knew things, I know nothing. When we did the breathing session, it took me a while for emotion to come up. And when it did, the phrases that triggered me were all about loving myself. Again, the accepting of who I really am, really knowing and loving myself. I'm so confused now. Who am I? Why am I even here? What's the point of living this life? Day four. Well, where to start? Actually, I didn't write yesterday after the other sessions. We did an activity where we had to sit in front of a partner and look straight in their eyes for seven minutes and tell them something we want them to know about our lives. And then we had to do the same thing except tell them something we are hiding, what we don't want them to know about our lives. I was scared shitless to stare in someone's eyes and it was a guy and then share. I was giddy the first time, kind of laughing, joking. And then in the second story, the story of what I was hiding, I told the story of grandpa. I burst out crying, very intense, and was helped by the facilitators. I really have no words for that experience. And then we did a visualization that was absolutely beyond beautiful. This experience was one of the most powerful experiences of my life. And we meditated and I saw immediately this image. This image, the inside was pure light and the emotion I had forced me to say, wow. It was a stunning moment of image and feeling. And today we did a meditation in the morning and I let the divine me show itself. Oh, white light opening up at the top, almost swirling, and I was there. I, I was there. I saw white swirling light. I saw indigo swirling light. I saw violet light, and there I was. No big jolt to get there. I somehow eased into it, and all I remember feeling is, never want to leave here. Oh God, words are so not describing this utter peace, beauty, warmth, love, purity, perfectness, nothingness. And I heard in the background of my mind somewhere way in the back, me saying, wow. Yet I wasn't connected to that. Oh, I'm so not describing this good. I just know that I am God energy. I asked the leader what to do if you experience this and then do you come back and 
And how do masters walk around like this? And I felt like the sun was smiling inside my whole body. He said from his own personal experience that his body is in motion, but his mind is almost blank. No thinking, just movement. That totally resonated with me. I didn't really express clearly in there because I think I was just so overwhelmed with emotion. Somewhat I did. But basically what happened was after this big session of me clearing this experience of my grandpa, taking the shame out and actually sharing something that I was hiding inside, you know, and then being supported by the facilitators. After we did the meditation and I was just lying there, white light swirled and it was just so overpowering. It was like, wah, 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 wah. And it became more and more and more. And then there was indigo and violet. And when I said I just dissolved, it was just, it was literally like I dissolved. I wasn't forcing. There was no jolt of me being ripped out of my body. It was like I just was. I just was with God energy. And it was like, which I didn't write about, it was like information I could feel it wasn't like it was being programmed into me, like someone was going like this. It was almost like because I was at one with it and I was experiencing it, I knew it. I knew all of the attributes of divine energy because I was it. Do you see what I mean? There was no separation. I was it. So I could feel the beauty. Notice I mentioned all those words. It was peace. It was beauty. It was pureness. It was warmth. It was love. It was nothingness, but, and I should have said it was everythingness. That's what that was. And when I came out of that, I was like, I feel like the sun is shining in me. And all of that angst and that confusion that I felt just earlier, remember I said I, I was up in the room and I don't know who I am. I don't know what I am. I don't know why life is is here for us to live. Why are we even here? I'm so confused. I know nothing. All of a sudden after this, I knew I knew how the universe worked. I knew how I could work. I just came back and I knew it. And that whole angst and confusion was completely gone. And I felt just clarity and peace. And this is why I do what I do today. I have the healing powers that I have in my energy system as well as in my hands. And it just keeps getting more and more and more as I continue to clear any beliefs, any limitations that come in and separate me from this oneness that I know I am. I have a knowingness now. I got it, got it, got it. So ladies, on that note, I'm going to end here. I love you to write your comments, your questions. What do you want to know? What do you want to ask me? What are you wondering about or what have you discovered about yourself? Have you ever had an experience like this? I want to hear it all. I'll see you in the next video. Where did it go from here? The series is almost ended, but it doesn't stop here. Okay? Much love and I'll see you next time.